first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick. It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We need to get back to why we're here. Kasumi Nakano. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these, or were they manufactured? None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie, that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember. 
remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then. Just a single day, and then waking up alone. We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? You should know, the Institute has been destroyed. What? It's over? No more coarser hunts? No more slavery? But that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I'm part of a group that helps since the railroad. Really? I don't understand why a group dedicated to helping synths would convince them through fear that their only option is to hide. Yes, they volunteer for the memory wipe. Yes, not knowing you're a synth makes it harder for the Institute to find you. But the cost... I know how frightening it is. The risk of capture. But sacrificing what you are... Avoiding the true struggle to be accepted as our own form of life? I hadn't thought about it like that. I'm sorry. So am I. Your heart is in the right place. And it's unfair of me to judge, while I enjoy relative safety from so far away. Was there anything else I can do for you? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the atom lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. 
Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Because you're not really their daughter. You're a sinner. Yeah. Exactly. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> you haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. <sighs> Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. I'll help if I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure. Good luck. Once you have something, let me know. From one case to a new one, it's never easy for us, is it? Hey. Juan. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. Who do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer, are you okay? Yeah, I'll keep. Don't worry. I just need to figure this all out. It's hard to deny it, Nick. The similarities are pretty obvious. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's got to be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. Of course, Nick. 
We'll find something. Thanks. I know we don't have much to go on. Just keep me in mind if you find something that might give us some answers. your story I came to this island over a century ago hiding from my creators the Institute but after my escape felt secured I was left with nothing no program task no false memories I spent a year just sitting in a cave just sitting one day it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was. 
I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you, you're new to the island. What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the Children of Adam. Gain access to their base. In the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might Shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. Actually, I already have the program. I was thorough. Well, I guess that just means I've picked the right person for the job. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it.
Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Yeah, I hear you. Is that so? Huh. Most of the chumps here act like I'm out of my gourd. Good to know someone else sees it my way. Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Not looking to buy right now. <sighs> Suit yourself. Turns out, Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam. He's afraid of what they're gonna find. So, is that what those death projections were about? It wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island. He's worried the children of Adam will. Or is he still hiding something? What could be in those memories that he would leave them behind? Is there really something in them that's dangerous? Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. I'll get Dima's memories. And then we'll figure things out from there. Good luck.
Richter, please, you can't do this. We've been loyal- It's Grand Zealot to you, and your dedication has come into doubt. You need to prove your faith. One of you may return to the fold. The other will return to Adam. Richter, this is insane. You can't expect us to- Will there be anything else? That'll be all, sister. Thank you, Grand Zealot. You. What are you doing here? Did Far Harbor send you? It's okay. I'm not from Far Harbor. I'm from the Commonwealth. Hmm. Quite the journey. So, explain to me what you're doing here. You come seeking a place among Adam's children? I'm interested in joining. Sign me up. Decisions of who may enter our family, we leave to Adam. You'll have to perform a ritual. Prove yourself worthy in his eyes. By doing what, exactly? There is a small spring not far from here. Those chosen by Adam drink and are granted something. A token, an experience. Those not chosen rarely return. All right. I'll do what Adam requires. Then let us hope he deems you fit. Go to the spring. Drink. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful. Keeping an eye out for a second. Gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What'd I miss?
must be some clue around here. Needs a password. Must be some clue around here. Could that be the password? from the spring, and a woman led me to this icon. Does this mean something? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? It was... <laughs> otherworldly. The woman, she was like a living shadow, cloaked in mist. Adam above. You really did see her. The mother of the fog. The mother is a messenger from Adam acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. I am ready to follow his path. Then it will be so. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. Have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this, we are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother.
believe the confess They are doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this land may be, they deny it. Scoff at us behind their condensers. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light no longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies ah, within our the family has gotten a little bigger. Well, we will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot, and with them. We will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam's veil will roll down its streets. Only Paul cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, Caution, brother. It Last child who tried to claim the secrets within roused the guardians of the base. So unless you've been tasked by the High Confessor, I'd steer clear of the It's all right. The High Confessor sent me. Of course he did, child. I know the look of someone trying to place themselves in the High Confessor's good graces. But if you are willing to bear the risks, I will not stop you. May Adam watch over you. <laughs> 